So, as you can see at the top, we've got the calories remaining tab and it's got our goal in there. 2,500 calories is our goal, my goal, should I say, um, for the day. Now, we need to know how to change this and obviously make it fit for purpose for, for yourself individually. So, if you look down to the bottom, to the task bar, and the more button with the three little circles in the bottom right hand corner if we click on that as you can see it's going to bring us up a load of options this is basically the options menu and there's all sorts of bits and bobs on here profile plans recipes blah, 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 challenges what we're interested in is the goals um, tab the goals button here just below workout routine so if i click on the goals button as you can see it's got a lot of information in there on me already so because I've had this app for a while, I've obviously inputted um, my weight at the time as it was on way back on the 5th of the 7th, 2017. You can update this whenever you like if you want to with your current weight or your goal weight or whatever it is. But realistically, we're not massively bothered about this. Again, if you want to put your weight in there and constantly update it, it will tell you how much you've lost over a certain period of time. So it is a relatively useful feature, but um, it's not the reason we're here on this page right now. So go past all of that go below the activity level and then it will say nutrition goals so a couple of things are uh, hidden behind like the the paid app version again you do not need the paid app for this so but what we're interested in is the calorie carbs protein and fat goals so click on that tab and in here you can see my default goals and this is where i can set up what i want so if i click on calories at the top i can edit it to whatever i want so if i only want 2000 calories for the day i can click on that and there you go, it's changed to 2,000. Um, the percentages are in reference to my macronutrient targets. So we generally advise trying to have a balanced diet ultimately. It's not, it doesn't massively matter if you're over too much or under too much. Um, but if we aim for balance, then it's, it's, a, good, it's a good point for us to, uh, to work towards throughout the day. And we're ensuring that we're getting a good balance of all the most important nutrients our bodies need. So, but again, you can click on them. So if I click on carbohydrates, you know, it will bring me up the, up the carbs, protein and fat percentage and I can just move these up and down however I see fit, obviously making sure that it only goes up to 100% because if I try to whack it up, it's going to tell me I'm at 130% of my calories. So we'll leave it on what it was on, 35, 35 and 30. But again, like I say, we, we generally go for kind of balance across the board. Um, so there, I've got those set up. If I come back out of that now, head back to my homepage. As you can see, my goal has now changed. I've still got the food that I inputted earlier, but my goal is now 2,000 calories. And as you can see also, the remaining total has now changed as well. So I've got a lot, obviously, 500 less calories than I did um, about two minutes ago. So that's how you can change your own calories and your own macronutrients um, for your goal. Like I say, depending on how you want to do it, you can put this in either not including exercise calories that you'd normally eat for that day or you can change it each day if you want to i generally leave it on my sort of 2500 um, calorie target consistently and i just add and take away where it needs to in my own kind of mind but that's how you do calories and your macronutrient goal um, targeting and that's how you change it so let's move on to the next bit